Oh, where's, where's my whiskey? Oh, uh, give me, give me, give me some of that sweet nectar. Oh, <laughs> guys, what do we have here on the table today? Why, my goodness, it's an online hypocrite. Uh, just beyond, beyond my scale and scope of attention. As you might well know, I am an intellectual and, of course, a drunken motherfucker. So, what do we have here? It's, um, it's a guy called Age of Armor, and he doesn't know that he's a hypocrite. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the, ex the argument that he gives here is indicative of that of a hypocrite, you see. He has an issue with certain derogatory labels being used against their party, let's say them, the, those people over there, have some intellectual backwash of hogwash mixed with dragonfly and albane its blood. Naturally, this metaphor is way over everybody's head, so you know I am actually quite smart. Yes, um, my, the, the inebriation alcohol of the toxic level is taking over the upper echelon of my cerebral capacity, but I'm I am certain I can laugh at this guy and say, LOL, he's a hypocrite. Mm. So what a, well, well, I'm actually Mike Stephenson. Well, no, you're a dear doc, doctor, random or cam, and I've learned how to wear a hat on my head. So you, you know that I'm actually an intellectual. I am, um, am I hair is thinning? Yeah, but that's not the point, is it? What we are here to do is laugh at liberals and come up with just the most outrageous analogies and metaphors for anything and everything under the clear blue sun. Can I add an additional adjective to every single bloody thing I say? I could. I will do so. So, so is not good enough of an adjective. We need to, to do astronomically better to the point where a red dot will interject with a brown square and they will uh, actually copulate profusely and inexorably in terms of my Greek understanding of the root words of the English language. Wow, did I just lose my... I just I lost my drunk accent there. I just... I guess you guys are on to me. I'm, I'm putting it on, much like my hero, Davis Arini. Yes, as you well know, another fellow skeptic who takes a liking to his drink and headbanging desk. Well, what's, what's up with this h bomber guy? Well, like I said before, He's a hypocrite because he doesn't understand. I got a Sean Connery accent, but he doesn't understand that derogatory labels are being used by his side against my side. Yes, indeed. And as a matter of fact, his absolute and utter stupidity knows no bounds as he continues to make the same mistake himself. I will, however, disregard his point that there are people on my side, my side being this community that doesn't exist, who are using labels such as um, SJW or... Um, feminist or cuck to silence any sort of uh, conversation on a subject as in well i called you that your conversation your opinion is well and done over with the point where i could now travel backwards before coming to an absolute frontwards of the time fart absolute uncertainty as you can see this argument makes pure rational sense and i am that much more intellectual for coming up with it. as you know i am sitting here in front of my desk like many hardworking skeptics, getting paid very well to do is exactly that. So, I will come up with metaphors. I will get drunk on booze if you want me to. I will call people idiots after only hearing two syllables of their next argument. That is the approach and the direction. That is the philosophy, the metaphorical metamorphosis of their absolute being, of being a me and myself and I are one and the same, but absolutely disjointed from an utter certainty that a celestial entity is actually just proportionately represented to the entirety of the reality of this time-shifting paradigm of our cultural existence. <laughs> Ugh, I need a, I need another drink after hearing the next silly bit of hogwash from this guy's bile, a uh, biological, well, mm. drink there. The reason, as you might well know, that I have drink on hand, so that way, when I don't have anything to say, I can simply take a drink. You may notice how I speak. This is very, very boring. As a matter of fact, I put Aristotle himself to sleep with my absolute and undying attention to the Greek root words of every single English language word. As you can tell, I am well against using classical Greek words with neoliberalism when it should have been neoliberté. Very, very important distinction, and only a left-wing savage be able to get that undoubted uncertainty wrong in his poo-headed thickness of his. Owned it. Nailed it. Please, guys, if you don't understand by now, this H-bomber guy is bad. Bad trouble. He doesn't know anything he's talking about, and he has no points to make. So I can just laugh at him. Laugh at him. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. And have, have more 
ill to go around. Whatever exotic beverage I'm drinking here, as you can see. Um, I'm so intellectual when I drink. Or is it just masking my social ineptitude? I never really know at this point. I think it's the fact that I appear in pretty much any social situation with a good heavy inebriation dosage of booze is confirmation to anybody's questioning suspicions that I indeed need this drug to get over my own inhibitions in the public sphere of dialogue, conversation, and atmosphere. So, as you can tell, after this prolonged and prolapsed, even, of a rectal examination of Mr. H. Bomber Guy, I deem him lulzworthy material. Nothing he has done will ever mean anything, and the people who support him and the work he has done, the effort he has put into his content, the editing, he is a fool. I was there myself not that long ago. I edited, I created content videos like Limbo, and they were actually good because I edited them rather than rambling drunkenly in front of a microphone for the whole internet to hear. Yeah. But that was a foolish mistake on my part. The effort, the time I invested in it, would have been put to much better use. Rambling and shilling my Patreon and going to Canada because I hate the United States because they have guns. So, without further metamorphosis ado of Dragonfly's Bane, without the ability to cabinize my chest of joys within an astronomical long-worded sentence, a fragment of existence, something that I cannot contemplate within this mere mortal plane of existence solitude, I bid you good doctor. And my name has been Mike Stefan, a pretentious douchebag. And, um, I didn't address actually the point that H. Barmer brought up. Yep, that's pretty much me. That's me for it. Please give me money. I will, I will list your name in a video. Fuck your mother.